I got a request from a viewer in one of my latest videos asking how I made the outro to my videos. So I thought I would give you a quick refresher sort of tutorial on compositing, especially a little more advanced compositing, although I don't know how advanced you'd call it. So basically, what I normally do when I end a video, I've got this title clip that I use, which if I just double click on it, you see it's got three lines of text on it places to put videos. It's just a black background with some text on top of it. From there, I take my videos that I've got over here on the side. You see I've got a news video, I've got a vlog, and I've got a distro review. I pull the entire video into Caden Live. I make sure that I've got the title clip, the, the black video, the uh, black background I'm using on the bottom most video track. It's the bottom layer. And then I've got three open video tracks above it. And then what I do is I grab a segment of each one. Let's say I'll do the vlog first, just because I like having that on the bottom. There we go. I'll just grab a segment of that, drag it down here, and extend it out to, to fill the entire space. Repeat the process for the other two videos. I, I just like to keep them in order, so I'll just pick this one. Uh, what I'm doing here, by the way, I select a section. I hit the little square bracket to get the beginning and just sort of let it pick the first so many seconds and then drag it down into the timeline. Uh, just my preference, you can do it however you want, put whatever video you want, wherever you want, of course. But I'm just repeating the process here, putting one video on top of the other. Doesn't seem like it'd be making sense, but it will here in just a second. You stack them all on top of each other, and of course, at this point, all you're going to see on this video is the topmost video. Doesn't seem like it's going to work out appropriately, but it will, give me just a second. Now what I do to keep things from going absolutely haywire and playing the audio from all three is I mute all three of them. I've seen a lot of people that will leave one track unmuted or will cycle between the three tracks audio just to give you a feel for what's going to be happening. I just prefer to have them all muted myself. So right click, go to audio effect, mute, if you want to do it that way. At that point you add the transition composite to each one of them. You can either right click and go to add transition composite. You see that added the composite transition, or you can click down here in the lower left hand corner of any of the clips. I prefer to start with the top and work my way down. You see when I mouse over that it says add transition, click on that. It added the dissolve transition, which at this point you can go up to the transition panel, change dissolve to composite. Now this is where the problem comes in for a lot of people. The first thing you're going to want to do is say, I'm going to composite this over the bottom most track. That's the one that I want it to be on top of. So I'm going to say composite with track 3. And you'll notice over here, 3 is the track number, the track number that has the black background. Uh, at this point, you'll drag the transition out to cover the entire clip. Make sure, again, you've got it over track 3. Go to the very beginning of it. And you can resize it if you want to. I tend to resize them also so they'll all fit on the screen. You see 30% makes it kind of small. This is where things will get a little tricky. Hopefully you can keep up. Right click on the composite transition, go to copy, go to the next line down, right click, paste. And I did a little bit outside there just to make sure that it would actually end up on the line and I could just drag it over. Uh, again, the third line, right click, paste, drag it over there. You could probably do this a little different way. It's just the easiest way that I've found to do it. Now at this point, you see I've got this bottom most one selected. You've got the ba black background showing up with the videos all up here in the corner stacked on top of each other. At this point, you can grab one of them and move it to wherever you want. I'm going to put it down here in the middle and then tilt to center. Hit the second one, move it around to wherever you want it to be. I'm going to put it over here on the right. Then grab the third one, put it over here on the left. And I would normally go through and actually uh, set all of these values to make them fit because I am kind of obsessive compulsive when it comes to aligning things but I just wanted to show you how I lay these things out very quickly you see I've got the base track I've got three videos on top of it each one with a composite transition telling it to composite over the bottom most track you resize each of the individual components to a smaller size to fit within the window frame and place them wherever you would like them to be and that's really as simple as it can be if you have any better ways to do this, please let me know in the comment section below. This has been working very well for me for a very long time, though, so I will probably keep doing it this way until I find something better. But that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip in Caden Live. That's all for now, though. Thanks for watching again. See you next time.